Okay, so I lowered my truck, as you can see, and the problem is, is I got these long tube headers on my, on my, uh, it's a, it's a 67 Chevy and I got a 396 in here. And these long tube headers, they're just not playing very nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to knock them out, I'm going to put in a new set of headers, some midline shorties. So I thought maybe I would just kind of show you how to go about doing something like this. So first thing I did is uh, went ahead and just marked all the spark plugs, spark plug wires. You know, one, three, five, seven. And get those guys off. Let's hop in here real quick and I'll pull those plugs. All right, I guess that one will have to come out afterwards. That's pretty exciting. Is that yeah. where you want to end up with Halifax? No, actually, I think I want to end up down the South Shore in Yarmouth where I want to go up in the valley or down the South Shore. Oh, really? Eh? Yeah. It's quieter, but still busy. And good uh... place to raise a family. Yeah, and that's exactly it, right? Uh, big properties, good housing prices, and Halifax is getting expensive. Halifax is getting expensive. But man, we found some properties down there. Not big. I mean, they're all the houses, fix me up or something. Right? Yeah. But I mean, you're looking at one and a half acres of land, two acres of land. You know, like 1,300 square foot slab of green house, maybe 300,000. Oh wow. Good. Work now. No, that's true. <laughs> right. So. That's a good point. Yeah. That's solid. Must have heard you. Yeah. <laughs> So I ended up just, you know, sliding this uh, header up from the bottom, but I'm noticing I don't quite clear right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But right here it hits. It won't allow me to put this header where it needs to go. You can see it's fine here, but the back it's high. And that's because it won't rotate down into its spot. And I see this is my problem right here. This motor mount that I got. So I think what I'm going to do going to clearance that bad boy. Just grab myself a zip disc and knock that corner off. Let's see what that does for me. I wonder if I'm better off just clearancing the header itself. Maybe so. Maybe I'll try that first. Ugh. Marker. All right, let's try it again. I think I need to do it up here a little bit more.
hitting here too. Okay, I'm going to put our spark plug wires back on and call this one done, I think. All right. Get this tape off of here so we don't look like amateurs. Even though we are. Out of the collector so I can get these spark plugs here in case nobody's told you yet disconnect your battery first you don't need that header smacking around the starter creating a problem look at this this header gasket stuck to the head hopefully it's okay you see that header is almost out already <laughs> i wonder if i could yeah so i think we're just gonna jack this thing up and then slide it right out from the bottom all right so i was just cleaning up the face of this and I'll crawl under there and stick her up in the hole. No, snow blowers at Brooks, if that's what you mean. It is from Home Depot. Alright. So there you can see the issue like we're never going to get that third bolt on if we don't clearance this floor i guess <sighs> so as much as that sucks oh what's the best way to do this <laughs> I suppose that's another option. Just turn it. It is it is close there though. I think we can get the bolt up. Um maybe I'll maybe, yeah, you wait here. I'm gonna go grab the piece that goes on there. We'll see what it looks like. Mm. 
Okay, let's go back at the top. I'm actually quite satisfied with that right now. Again, if you hang the two far outside ones, because of the way the gasket is, you can hang the gasket in there. Just like so. Then you can go and get the rest of them all finger tight. Okay, so here's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to take this short socket and put it on there, slide it down through the spark plug and on. Then I'm going to take these vice grips, hook it onto the socket and just give the vice grips a turn. There we go. Okay. Just like that, we got her all done. How much time did that take? Maybe an hour. Would it have been faster if I had a hand? Yeah, it would have. Would I recommend getting somebody to lend a hand? Yeah, it would. But we got them on. Um, so, as you can see, like my old exhaust is hanging down here. This truck is, I don't know, maybe four or five inches. Uh, the frame off the ground now, maybe six inches. So this ain't gonna work for me. In fact, I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna cut this off. And if somebody local wants it, they can have it. And so I got this piece on here. I should probably go put it on the other side too. The amount of time it takes. I'll just kind of get it all ready. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, if you stuck around this long, hey, do me a favor. Think about subscribing.